Hey guys, this is Laura with McLeod Homestead, and today I've got a few of my tomatoes from the garden, and I'm going to do a little taste test. I've got three, six, seven of them here. Nowhere near the amount of what I've got in the garden. I'm not taste testing the little ones, the currants, all that stuff. Those are all yummy. Um, but we're just, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a little taste test. I'm going to take a piece and I'm going to eat it plain, and I'm going to eat a piece with it with salt, and we'll see which ones taste the best. This one here is a Rudker, so let's give this a little cut. And any extras, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take and make a tomato salad for dinner. Nice and juicy. I don't know if you can see it. A lot of juice in there. A lot of seeds. It's good. This rod curry is a determinant one. That's good. I could handle that. A lot better than at the grocery store but not one of my favorites I will say the next one we're gonna do <laughs> see I labeled them a little stick tight on them the next one I'm gonna try is a granny contrail This tastes a little bit sweeter than Rudker. And it has a little bit more of an aftertaste. Again, it's got quite a few seeds in it. Let's see how it tastes with salt. Mmm. <clears throat> with the salt, it brings out the nice acidic flavor. That's good. a good one. Next is my Uncle John's and I'm not cutting it in this one because this is off the one I cut earlier and I know what it tastes like without salt. These are big and meaty. I like it better than the Rudker, but I think I like the Granny Contrail better. Mm. So it's a good. I think they're a beefsteak brand. I'm not quite sure yet. Okay, this next one is a Purple Russian. I've been kind of anxious to try these. Nice and soft and tender. Not big on the flavor. Mm -mm. Not at all. It'll be all right in a sauce. Yeah. Definitely not one I'd just eat on my own. In a sauce that mixed in, it would be all right. So the next is off the Rainbow Heirloom. Get that out of the way. Try it with salt first. And again, all these seem to have good, good amount of seeds in them. one's not too bad. I have to say, so far, 
That granny can trail is my favorite. So, we're going to line these up. Least favorite. And it'll go that. And so far that. That one and that one. Got two left. We got a brandy wine and a Henderson. So let's try the Henderson. These are all heirlooms. The Henderson has less tomatoes in it. There are seeds. Mm. I do like that. Oh, yeah. Put that right behind Uncle John. That was a rainbow. That was purple Russian. This was a Henderson. This is Uncle John's. Granny can trail. Brandy. I don't know where the sticker for a red curve went, but let's try the brandy wine. I really, last year I tried brandy wines and I got none. So I'm kind of excited. Mm. To say this is tied with Uncle John's. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna stick that right in front of Uncle John's only for the simple fact that it's tied. But there we have it. From the one I like the most. To the least. Granny Contrail, Brandywine and Uncle Uncle John's are tied to the Henderson, Rainbow Heirloom, Rutger, and Purple Russian. There you go guys. There's a little taste test with a few of them. Hope you enjoyed. Just a little fun bitty thing to do today on a gorgeous day. Thanks guys. Please like, subscribe, take care, and share this video, and I'll talk to you later. Toodles!